of Peter Pan and a girl named Wendy who believed in him. It begins in the Darling Family Nursery.
my shadow? <laughs> it's gotta be somewhere here. <clears throat> you know, you used to be better at finding stuff like this. You used to be able to find the lost boys in no time. It can be incredibly frustrating trying to communicate with Peter when he gets distracted. <laughs> T, why are you chattering so much? Uh, I found it! I knew I'd find it quicker than you! Wow, look at how amazing my shadow is. Now, I just need to attach it back. Get me some soap. <clears throat> Oh my gosh, it's you! I knew you were real! I knew it! I knew it! You're Peter Pan and you're real, not just the tale I told. I'm Wendy, Wendy, Moira, Angela, Dark. You came back from your shadow, right? Wait, are you trying to attach it with soap? I'll get your shadow back on, you'll be as good as me. Maybe you can show me where stories can come true. But wait, how did you lose your shadow? Girls talk a lot. <laughs> Excuse me? First of all, your natty is a dog, so that's weird. And second, uh -oh. she attacked me while I was floating outside and grabbed my shadow. Oh, Nana. I come every night to listen to your stories. But my stories are all about you. That's why I like them. I tell them to the Lost Boys, but I forget some of the details. Well, look at how amazing I look with my shadow back. I'd grow and I'm happy. Oh, Peter, I'm so unhappy. I have to grow up tomorrow and be a proper lady. Grow up? Tomorrow I'm leaving the nursery, which means no more stories. What? I won't have it. I'm taking Neverland. You'll never grow up there. But what would my mom say? What's a mom? What's a mom? Someone who loves you and tells you stories? Good. You can be our mom. Ow! Stop that, T. There's one more thing you should know. Although you see me as a normal-sized girl, I'm really just a two-inch tall fairy. Which is why my voice sounds like Belle's to most humans. Look, she's there. Now she's there. Now, I really should have pulled Wendy's hair. She's going to tell Peter more stories about himself. Peter Pan is an excellent boy, but he can be very conceited. John, wake up! Peter Pan is here. Wow, what is that? A fairy. One is going each time a baby laughs its first laugh. See? Wendy is my friend, and she's coming with us. Peter's going to take us to Neverland. Yay! But how will we get there? Well, why, of course. It's easy. All you have to do is think of a wonderful thought.
Pish posh, make the ship shine or it's lash for lollygagging. <laughs> oh, me, what rogue and peasant of mine. Here I sit, stuck in a lad, brought to her bed on that diabolic piece of pie. Feeling poetic, Captain? Oh, if only I could find a secret now. I capture and plunge we cut the steep into a sick like sweetheart. But enough, this must be finished. Speak with me, my man. Maybe his and his boys hide out to Mermaid's Lagoon? We troll the very depths of Mermaid's Lagoon. Perhaps in a cave of a cannibal cove? We dynamited every cave in cannibal cove. Maybe somewhere in Indian territory? Oh no, no. Of course, I'm brilliant. Those Indians know the island better than anyone. You must know with an insolent name by right these night. You must catch your tiger lily. The ch ch cheese powder? And a tiger lily will tell us. Oh, boy, oh, Lord, oh, yeah. what do you see in that? That ain't good form. That's good form. Did Pat show me good form when he did this to me? I thought you liked your hook for combing your hair and scratching. <laughs> <laughs> Which is true, if I were a mother, I prayed on my children born with this instead of this. No way, you can thank Pam. Oh, it's me, he threw my hand into the crocodile's maw. And the beast has been licking his lips for the rest of me ever since. But luckily, the croc also swallowed the cloth, so you can hear a tick tock, tick tock every time he's close, so we can get you away. Why, I can almost hear it now. Oh no, they're not just here, save me, save me! You over there, what are you doing? One scoundrels, listen up. Never smile, let a crap go down. No, you can't get friendly with the crap go down. Don't be taken in by his welcome friend. He's imagining our fit thing, his skin. Never smile, let a crap go down. Never tip your head and stop the talk. Run away, say good night, not good day. Put me on another smile, let's have a crop go down. And Mr. Snee, you know the deepest fear that knows of me. What fear is that, Captain? Someday the clock will run down and the beast will sneak up on me. And crunch, and gnash, and pulverize. There's nothing left of me at all. <sighs> Never smile at a crop go down. Or you might get Yes, it's true. Take a look now, my hands in the wood. Clearly, I've never smiled at Mr. Croc. Oh, Dad! Be gone!
is this. You block it. I made you something amazing to tell you stories, and you kill her? She was going to tell us stories? Ha, huh. you are here by sentence two. My mind's made up. But yet, I feel something holding me back. In your conscience? Nah. Look, she's not dead. That was fun. What happened? The arrow, it hit a button on my nightgown. Uh, Why did you do this? Tink said he wanted us to. Tink? Tinkerbell, come here. You are hereby charged with high treason. Are you guilty or not? Guilty? Well then, Tinkerbell, you are hereby banished forever. Okay, then, banished for one week. But scrap! Come on, Wendy. Let's try to find Captain Cook and make him pay for these morning stunts. John! You're in charge. Lost boys, follow him wherever he leads. Very soon. So you're the lost boys? How did you get lost? Every time a baby pulls out the its crib, it lands here in Neverland. Why are there no lost girls? Girls are too clever and fall out of their cribs. <laughs>
I threw a hook's hand into the crocodile. There I was, a marooner's rock. Wait, Wendy, Tiger Lily, princess of the island, and she's a prisoner? Yeah. I knew Hook was up to no good. How do we rescue her?
now, but it only fly away. I must find one that's lost what you live. I must have revenge! Captain, pardon me for saying, but maybe we should just forget this whole can business. And everyone, too, go back to a healthy, normal life on the high seas. Huh. Got on ships, cutting throats. <laughs> Feeling about it, Captain? No, that's right over there. Peter Pan's very tickled. Why is she crying? Well, I wouldn't want to go any further, but the cook told me that the first mate told him that Pan has banished Tinkerbell. You should have told it once. Yeah. Did you do that? But how will you get her to talk? I speak this. What's she saying? She said she's very depressed. He does not speak Pixie. By the way, just now, he said the turnip is taking a siesta. Oh no, let me go! Now, Miss Bell, I know you and Pan are dear friends, so allow me to ask you the merest of favors. Please tell Peter that Captain Hook is admitted to feet, and that tomorrow I shall leave now to return. Well, I'm definitely glad to hear that, Captain. I'll tell the crew. Yes, all is my Oh, Pan is his fault. He brought that Wendy to the island after all. And the rumor is that she is already come between you and Peter. So it is true. I was speaking away from man with the maid, taking the vestures of a life, and then throwing on her side like a glove. Ain't it a blue kid? I have to save Peter from Wendy. That's it. We can shame my Wendy, take it to see with us, and then Pan will forget his delight in her ridiculous stories. But Captain, we don't know where Wendy lives. Scott, you can show us where the Lost Boy's secret hideout is? It's me, take us down. And I promise not to lay a hand or hook on Peter. They say fairies are either all good or all bad, but that's not true. We can be both. It's just that we're too small for two feelings to exist at once. And that day, I was really steeped at Peter. I wish I couldn't do this, but it's part of the story. I told Hook where Peter and Wendy were hiding. Like that. Do 
you just want to stay here and grow up like savages? Savages! <laughs> you need a real mom. Step right up inside and 
ship Clyde take us home. Will you do that? All right, you swamps! I'm off with you! We're casting off! Man the cow then! Hoist the anchor! Take and the pixie dust. Come on, let's go back to that land. Bye, darling. 